it's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's really cool to be able to bring in some voc vocabulary and um, ideas and stuff that people who have gone off to have professional training and stuff understand, but able to bring that in and teach someone who hasn't had as much um, on stage, on stage, um, you know, uh, experience. Um, I think it's a lot of fun to watch how much, even though that the, the person is brand new and then you've got the person who's done it all before, how they rise, how they kind of bring each other up and, and you really won't be able to tell. It's even just from the few rehearsals we've had. Oh, well, we're very lucky that the cast already hangs out outside of here. Um, so that has made the on-stage relationships way easier to solidify and the dynamics are easier to solidify because there are prior relationships. You know, it's not like we're starting from square one like a lot of shows that all these people come together and they don't know each other. The, the, the four actors do know each other. I think it, they can be answered in the same in the same answer um, is timing. My favorite is you know a lot of comedy comes from the timing, um, and that can be difficult. But figuring that out and figuring out where exactly that timing works is one of my favorite parts of directing comedy. I mean, because the lines are funny. Like that's how a comedy is supposed to be funny. It's the um, physical nature of it that makes it even funnier in the, in the facial reactions and stuff like that uh, I much prefer the physical aspect because like I said uh, the lines are written to be funny you can teach you know delivery is easy to figure out and direct and stuff but I, I think there's a lot to be said especially in this space of being able to get those fa those small facial reactions there's small movements, and but getting big laughs out of that. I think that's it's extremely rewarding to watch. That's a good question because Steve Martin, I think, is one of the better comedians at diversifying himself. He has such a wide variety, um, but this is, I think, this is definitely Steve Martin in that SNL. Um, that SNL and his live shows when he was touring and doing things like uh, King Tut and stuff like that. That that classic Steve Martin that we, we saw in the in I think the you know 70s 80s and stuff. Mm -hmm.